How y'all doing today? We are making German chocolate ice. Now where you can find that is everything sweet by the Hustlers. Okay, we're gonna start out. We got our milk, sugar, and butter. We have our eggs and our plate. We got coconut and pecans. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our pot on medium heat. Gonna put our milk in. Sugar go in. And our butter go in. Okay, we got that on medium heat. Our sugar, butter, and milk go. We'll have went in, okay? Now we're gonna start to stir this. We won't add our eggs and try the butter. Basically, solve in the, in the batch. And German chocolate ice is something you gotta stay with. You can't leave it. You can't put it on. Go watch the news and come back. You have to stay with it. Okay, we got it on and mixed up quite well, so we're gonna turn it up to uh, number nine on the stove. That's so one click from high. We want, we want this to go ahead and get heated enough so we can add our eggs. Now once that butter begins to melt, then you can add your eggs. It don't have to be completely melt because we don't want it hot to add our eggs to it because our eggs will cook and separate from the batch. So when that butter starts to melt, then you can add your eggs. Once you add your eggs, then all you got to do is put it back down to medium heat. The butter will disappear. We're going to add our eggs now. Add them little by little. Mix that in quite well. And this got to come to a rolling ball before you cut it off. We're going to go ahead and add our flavor to that. Another flavor. Sure, you don't have any stickies on the side or on the bottom.
keep stirring it like I'm doing here. It's got that sugar and got that egg in there and it will stick. That you don't continue to stir it. I don't know whether you had a cake, German chocolate cake, and they burn the German chocolate. It's not a very good taste. Professional would have throwed that out and started all over again. You got a little steam coming from it, but the hand starts to boil it. So in a few more minutes, we'll be at the boiling stage. I got a strange thing. They want me to make German chocolate cake, but they don't want me to put coconut in it. I said, wait, well, you're not going to put coconut in it. They're not German chocolate cake. I don't know what, you, what that is. I get the nuts and the icing, I guess. See how it's starting to stick up here? Won't be long before it starts to boil. That's what you want. You want it to boil. Well, it's basically like you're making candy here. But you're actually making German chocolate. You have it sticking up. But it got the ball. Play it back down to medium heat. Now we're starting to get a little boil. We're going to cut it back down to medium heat. Ain't nothing like homemade. You know exactly what's in it because you put it in there. You don't have to guess. And you're feeding your family quality food that you made yourself. See them bubbles in there? That's something to be good.
Now we're making this German chocolate ice today, but we won't be able to use it until tomorrow. And after it's completely cool, we set it in the freezer overnight, and we'll come back and make German chocolate cake. German chocolate cheesecake. So you have this recipe here already, so when we come back and make the cheesecake and German chocolate cake, we'll just make the cake and we won't make the icing because we already have it here. popping out on you, so I suggest you get along with whip. Hear that sound? That's goodness cooking. coconuts or your pecans and try to get to cooking with that tin. We're going to add them once we cut it off. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm going to shut it off now. Sweet coconut, I'm gonna add that to it. Now you want your pecans kind of cut up here. When you back your pecans up. Small your pecans are, but usually use the spray it when you cake. Okay, pecans go in.
Mm -hmm. We're gonna let this set overnight. Let it cool. We're gonna put it into the fridge. And then tomorrow we'll be ready to ice some cakes. Now, if you see anything you like, please click the like button. And don't forget to click. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.